Hello! Welcome to the 60th anniversary screening of Clarenville's epic romance. Through the years we have watched them grow from young lovers to even younger parents to downright childish grandparents. <laughs> the audience may know the original unabridged version featuring the classic trope, the old soft shoe. <laughs> However, we now have access to new unfound footage that reveals a tenderness behind screwball comedy that the average fan knows. Clarenville's artistic addition to cinema is clearly seen through their achievements in the treasure hunting genre, the creation of the notorious monster Pokemoko, and of course, genius acting features from giants such as Isabel, Amos, Arden, and many, many more. Yes, without Claire and Bill, the modern culture would be a totally different place. Without further ado, the unfound footage, the night they invented champagne. Therefore, I win. And therefore, you lose. You cheated. Where did you get that fourth king? I won, I won, I won! <laughs> Gypsy! You thief! Your mutton head, do we go to Trouville? Yes, yes, you go to Trouville. Hooray! Grandmama, oh. we go to Trouville! Oh, no, Gaston, it's out of the question. Not at all, I'd love it. Believe it or not, Mamita, I have a better time with this outrageous brat of yours than anybody in Paris. It'll be marvelous fun. What time tomorrow will we get? Can I watch you play roulette? May I stay up late for supper? Is it awfully, awfully, awfully? Gigi, you'll drive us wild. Stop! Silly child. Stop it! They invented champagne. They spin as it can be. They thought of you and me. The night they invented champagne. Hi, Clay and Grampy. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. 60 years of a happy marriage is definitely worth celebrating. I miss you guys, and I'm really sorry that I can't be there this weekend. But I'm sending all my love all the way from Lawrence. Happy anniversary, Claire and Grampy. Love you and miss you, and uh, hope to see you soon. Hey, Claire and Grampy. I just wanted to say happy anniversary, and I really miss you and wish that I could be there with you right now. Uh, for your 60th anniversary, I want to tell you a little joke. So I've been working pretty hard on this one, so here it is. How many people in the world do you think can say that they've been married for 60 years? Well, the answer is, I don't know, but they're probably pretty old. All jokes aside, I love you both so much, and I hope to see you really soon. Love you. Bye. You must have been vaccinated with a phonograph needle. The future of Fredonia rests on you. Promise me you'll follow in the footsteps of my husband. How do you like that? I haven't been on the job five minutes and already she's making advances to me. Not that I care, but where is your husband? Why, he's dead. I'll bet he's just using that as an excuse. I was with him till the very end. <laughs> no wonder he passed away. I held him in my arms and kissed him. Oh, I see. Then it was murder. Will you marry me? Did he leave you any money? Answer the second question first. He left me his entire fortune. Is that so? Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Oh, your excellency. You're not so bad yourself. Hi, Claire and Grampy. Happy anniversary. Sorry I couldn't be there to celebrate with y'all, but congratulations, and we'll see you soon. Happy anniversary, Claire and Grampy! I'm so happy that I got to sit in a front row seat with your marriage and relationship growing up. It was definitely very formative and very fun to witness. Just so many great memories of being in your house and hanging out with you guys. Uh, just like watching movies, going to movies, going to like the children's museum, and going out to lunch, and just walking to the park, and learning French, and doing some mind games. Come in. 
Sit down. All right, you want to look at my feet? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey, knock it off. Now, come on, Reggie, listen to me. Oh, here it comes, the fatherly talk. You forget I'm already a widow. Well, so was Juliet at 15. Mm, but I'm not 15. Well, that's your trouble. You're too old for me. Can't you be serious? Oh, you just said an horrible word. What did I say? Serious. When a man gets to be my age, that's the last word he ever wants to hear. I don't want to be serious. And I especially don't want you to be. Okay, well, just sit around all day long being frivolous. How about that? I know for sure that I would not be the person I am today without the two of you and all that you've taught me and all of the life skills you've given me, all of the trips you've taken us on. I, I gained so much from you and I'm so lucky to know both of you. I remember growing up and having sleepovers at your house with uh, Caitlin and Maggie and Dan and Patrick and we'd all come downstairs and eat uh, breakfast together and Grampy would kind of be like, wow, look at me, look how lucky I am. Hope you have a wonderful anniversary. Hope you're not too bored in quarantine. And I hope I get to see you soon. Love you. Bye. But if this ditty is not so pretty, at least it'll tell you how great you are. You're the top. You're the color dear. You're the top. You're the new museum. You're a melody from a symphony by Strauss. You're a Ben Bob, a Shakespeare sonnet, your Mickey Mouse. You're the night, you're the tower of Pisa, you're the smile on the Mona Lisa. I'm a worthless check, a total wreck, a flop, but if baby I'm the bottom, you're the top. You're the top, you're my hat. Napoleon 